The Prime Minister will know of the many injustices that have been meted out by Atos in the last few years. They were mentioned again on Monday at DWP questions. The latest victim was a farmer and a butcher in Bolsover who went to Atos in December 2012 and was stripped of his benefit. For 11 months he waited for an appeal and then his aggressive cancer took his sight, took his hearing and then last Friday took his life. Isn't it time that we put an end to this system where people that are really suffering should not be allowed an appeal having to live on £70 a week, him and his widow. Two things the Prime Minister should do. One, with immediate effect, make an ex gratia payment to his widow to cover the suffering, the pain and the loss of income. And secondly, abolish this cruel, heartless monster called ATOS. Get rid of it. Prime Minister. For purpose. The Prime Minister. The Honourable Gentleman rightly raises what is clearly a desperately sad case, and I'm very happy to look at it and look at the specifics of the case that he raises. I think everyone who has constituency surgeries and talks to constituents knows that we have to improve the quality of decision-making about this issue. But where I would take issue with him, I think it is important that we carry out proper assessments of whether people are qualified for benefits or are not qualified for benefits. That's why, and before members opposite shout out about this, that is why they started to look at work capability. The question was heard, and heard, I think, with great courtesy, and the answer must be heard. The Prime Minister. That is why, when they were in government, the last, the last government did look at the issue of work capability assessments and making sure that we have a proper way of judging who should be receiving benefits and who shouldn't. As I say, we can always improve the system. There are appeals in the system, but I'm very happy to look at the individual case.